Imagine, if you will, a distance so enormous that our minds can hardly comprehend it. Let's put it into perspective. The nearest star system to us, Alpha Centauri, is a staggering 4.37 light-years away. Now what does that mean? Well, if you were to travel around the Earth at its widest point, you would need to do so over 25 million times to cover this distance. Let's take it a step further. The light we see from Alpha Centauri today embarked on its journey over four years ago. That's right, the twinkling light that catches your eye on a clear night left its home when the world was a different place. It's a sobering thought, isn't it? So when you gaze at the stars, you're not just looking into space, you're looking back in time. In the void of space, no one can hear you scream or sing or even play a violin. This is not some alien conspiracy theory, but a simple fact of physics. Unlike on Earth, where we hear sounds as they travel through the air or under the sea, space is a different story. It's a vast, nearly perfect vacuum, devoid of a medium that can carry sound waves. On our blue planet, when you speak, pluck a guitar string or slam a door, you're creating vibrations in the air. These vibrations or sound waves reach our ears and our brain interprets them as sounds. In contrast, the cosmos is eerily silent. Astronauts, despite being surrounded by celestial cacophony, can't simply have a chit-chat without assistance. They rely on radio signals which travel beautifully through the vacuum and are then converted into sound. In the silent expanse of space, the stars may be a sight to behold, but they will never serenade you with a symphony. From our vantage point on Earth, it's easy to feel like we're at the center of the universe, but the reality is far different. We are but one tiny speck in a universe that is beyond comprehension. Picture this. The number of galaxies in the universe is comparable to the grains of sand on all the beaches of Earth. Yes, you heard right. Each of these galaxies, mind you, is a swirling mass of billions upon billions of stars. And each star, a sun, potentially with its own family of planets. It's a humbling thought, isn't it? We're just one small part of an unimaginably larger cosmos. But rather than feeling insignificant, let's take a moment to marvel at the sheer wonder of our existence. In the grand scheme of the universe, our existence may seem insignificant, but isn't it remarkable that we're here at all, able to ponder these cosmic mysteries?